Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to unlock bootloader on your uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Okay, so as you can see here I have the Samsung uh, S20 FE and in order to unlock bootloader which you may want to unlock because you may want to install some uh, custom ROM or uh, flash the ROM, do whatever you want uh, with it, do some other unauthorized changes, feel free to do it of course. Uh, remember it may void the warranty although the phone is already like five years old I believe so uh, maybe it wouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so um, I can show you first in settings um, that if I go to about phone and if I go to software information uh, that you'll see it is the, you can see here it's the Galaxy S20 FE. Um, it has Android 13 and the method will work on any Samsung phone that has Android version 7 or newer. Uh, so all the way up to 16 because 16 is the newest version right now. Um, I hope, I presume that when 17 rolls out it's also gonna work, um, but uh, yeah you can see it has the security patch, the newest security patch, uh, which is uh, the July 1, 2025, so um, it's like all, all fresh uh, and now uh, if you want to unlock bootloader first connect to Wi-Fi uh, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi I'll explain why in a moment but as I said let's go to connections let's go to Wi-Fi make sure that you are connected here also it is worth logging out of your Google account because unlocking bootloader will factory reset your phone and if you're logged into Google account then it'll prompt you to enter it uh, during the setup after it's reset and you know it's a little bit problematic so it's way easier to just go to um, the accounts and backup go to manage accounts and sign out of your um, uh, Google account otherwise um, it'll uh, just prompt you to enter that previously logged in account during the setup as I said and now uh, let's go to about phone and go to software information and then tap on build number seven times if you have a screen lock you will be asked for it enter it and go back to the main page now you can see it says developer mode has been turned on so let's slide down a little bit more and you'll see developer options now uh, you should find OEM unlocking and that option won't show up won't show up if you're not connected to Wi-Fi that's why it's so important to be connected to Wi-Fi now you can see I already have it enabled so um, I don't need to do that but you probably um, you probably have it disabled so uh, you would need to just enable it enter your screen lock uh, click on enable and now you can turn your phone off by pressing and holding on power and volume down until you see this screen, then tap on power off and tap on it again and wait a moment until the phone turns off. You will need a cable for your um, phone that will connect to your computer and you won't need your computer for like anything you, you don't need to do anything on your computer but it just has to be connected to the computer so the phone discovers it is connected and lets you go into the download mode because that what we're gonna get that's what we're gonna get to um, and you know it's just a prevention so you don't do it accidentally because most probably when your phone is connected to a computer it's not in your pocket so you're not doing it accidentally right uh, now uh, I'll try connecting to my computer I'm not really sure whether it's gonna work uh, because I have some problems with my connection so uh, if it won't work I'm just gonna do it off camera but yeah I have my cable already connected to the computer uh, remember that not all cables are built the same so if you have a, like a cheap cable then there's a chance it may uh, not work with your computer because uh, you know not all cables support data transfer some only support charging and those won't really 
and make your uh, phone discover it is connected to a computer. Now, before you connect the cable, start pressing and holding on power and volume up at, uh, sorry, sorry, not on volume up and volume down at the same time. And then during that, plug in the USB-C cable and keep on holding. As you can see, in my case, nothing shows up because I have that problem with the USB connection. So I'll just try connecting to a different computer and I'll get back to you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try connecting to a different port. Uh, so let's try again, just pressing and holding on power and volume, uh, sorry, on, on volume up and volume down at the same time. And in the meantime, connect your USB a cable you can see it doesn't work as well so oh no it actually worked so we have this warning uh, this is what you should see and now you should try pressing and holding on volume up until the screen goes off and now release it and you'll see the screen about unlocking bootloader so you need to uh, click on volume up and release and now you can unplug the cable the phone will restart um, click on power key to continue it's gonna erase itself as I said earlier and then uh, it's just gonna restart okay let's click on the power button again and wait until it starts it's gonna take a moment because it's an older phone and after a reset, of course, uh, we have uh, the setup. So I'm just gonna very quickly go through that so I can show you um, uh, that the bootloader is unlocked. It will see uh, in the system, it'll be shown in the system. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, connect. Now you should connect to Wi-Fi again. So it activates, um, well, activates, not activates, but reads all the data about the bootloader boot being, being unlocked. So I'll just, um, enter the password um, to the Wi-Fi so we make sure that everything works correctly Okay, so you can see it takes a moment. Uh, I'm just gonna get back to you when it's done. It's gonna load for a moment. Okay, and now as you can see, it says copy apps and data. Uh, so I'm just gonna click on done copy, of course. I, I don't really care about that. Because probably you're unlocking your bootloader anyway to just probably flash it with a different ROM so you don't really need to do anything. I'm just gonna skip everything altogether so we can go through that. So I can just show you uh, that um, everything works. Uh, you know, that we have uh, those, um, uh, that bootloader unlocked. Um, and yeah, as I said earlier, it works on um, all Androids, um, seven or higher. Um, this phone that I have right here runs 13, but it works even on 16, um, as long as you as you do it with a proper cable and um, do all the steps as I did. Uh, you can of course repeat some steps if they went wrong. Um, let's go to settings now. I'm just gonna go to about phone software information and click on build number seven times, right? I'm gonna go back and go to developer options. Now you can see OEM unlocking is grayed out because the bootloader is already unlocked. So I have nothing to do about it. Um, and yeah, if you want to watch a video about uh, locking the bootloader, there is also one and there are some other videos including flashing ROM on the phone. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.